Sydney, Australia is a city obsessed with food. There's a fascinating new generation of chefs. Nathan Sassi of Nomad stands out among them. Here at the restaurant, we try to revive forgotten skills. So we pickle, we preserve, we ferment a lot of things. All our cheese, all our shark bitter is made here in-house. He is a nomad. The travel bug has taken him to more than 20 countries, and it shows. The menu, I guess, is all my travels around the world, from the States to Europe to Spain, you know, as the restaurant's called, Nomad. So that obviously dictates what we like to cook here at the restaurant. Sassi has become known for his constantly evolving menu of cured meats, or charcuterie. On the charcuterie board, we have all my travels on one plate, which obviously gives the people you know, a bit of an idea about where I've come from and who I am today. This is a chorizo, but it's made with pork and prawn. There's lots of spices in there. The combination of the, the seafood and the pork just really go hand in hand. The next one, we have a, um, snack sticks. It's just a, a mixed you know, salami that we stuff into these little um, edible fibrous casings and then they're smoked and cooked all the way through. And the next one is uh, mortadella. We dice up the fat, there's a few spices in there as well. A few little secret ingredients I can't tell you about too. So the next one we have is um, Australian ingredient, that's uh, kangaroo and juniper berry salami. Very rich, kind of tasting meat. And the next one we've got here is uh, lardo, which is uh, cured back fat, done in an Italian style as well. Lots of spices on the outside. And then the last but not least, one of my favorites is um, our house-made ham on. So that's aged for 12 months. Lots of nice intermuscular fat, just, just amazing to eat. There you go. Fantastic, oh my gosh. And just a little lardo. I always like eating pure fat. I know, who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. A quick, delicious tour of the world on a charcuterie board. Now that is my idea of travel.